This use of play is brought to you by When you go with flow, you get to bundle it. Bundling is essential with flow. Get flow TV, broadband, and home phone from as low as $160 a month. That's less than $5.50 a day. Plus, upsize your broadband and home packages from only $5. And there's more. You get free movies for three months and a 50% off selected TV bolt on. Trust the network that is built, ready, and proven. This is how we flow. Bundle it. Sign up before October 31st to get the Flow Sports Premier Pack free for six months. It's Tuesday, November the 1st, 2016, and this is your Barbados Today evening update. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Thanks for joining us. Topping the news at this hour, the government sector is expected to start feeling the effects of industrial action from tomorrow that the National Union of Public Workers will start phased protests beginning with the environmental health officers who have been summoned to a meeting tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock at union headquarters to sensitize them on the action. The union is seeking to pressure the Personnel Administration Division to reinstate NUPW President Akani McDowell, who had been unceremoniously removed from the senior position of Acting Health Planning Officer 1 and returned to his substantive job as Environmental Health Assistant 1. Without revealing too many details, Union General Secretary Rosen Smith told Barbados today the action will be instituted in bits and pieces and the effects will be seen from tomorrow. An opposition MP wants the Minister of the Environment, Dr. Dennis Law, to refund the taxpayers the $3 million they have to bear in compensation for those National Conservation Commission workers who were unfairly dismissed during the government's cost-cutting re retrenchment program in early 2014. In his contribution to the debate in the Parliament this afternoon on the government's green economy scoping study, Edmund Hinkson accused Law of breaching his own cabinet's last in first out policy. And therefore, the question arises whether the Honourable Minister of the Environment, having made the decision, because it was reported that the list of who will go home and who won't go home was in the Honourable Member for Christchurch East's hands. And therefore, the question arises as to whether there was an abuse of authority as defined by the Caribbean Court of Justice in a case arising out of belief, such that the Honorable Minister of the Environment should be liable financially to the people of Barbados to the, through, to the tune of $3 million. Because the Cabinet of Barbados has announced by the minister responsible had decided first, last in, first out policy. But yet we found that employees of 10, 15, 20 years were sent home from the National Conservation Commission to the detriment of the taxpayers of Barbados who now had to find $3 million in an era of severe economic recession. Barbadians who can't afford to pay a lawyer for that initial consultation to determine whether or not their case has merit will now be able to get the legal advice free of charge. The Barbados Bar Association today announced the launch of free legal clinics which will begin on Saturday at the bar's headquarters on Perry Gap, Robert Street, the city. Bar President Lee Selvig said the clinics, which will continue into June next year, will be held every other Saturday across Barbados with the ultimate aim of becoming a totally free service that adds to the existing state-run legal aid. The legal aid scheme does not cover every type of matter. It certainly does not cover a wide range of civil matters, which, does, which has the, the potential for precluding a lot of persons with legitimate civil claims whether it is um, property claims, ejectment proceedings, whatever it is, um, from actually pursuing whatever their recourse is in the courts. And so it's become timely to have a system which supplements the legal aid system, which would allow those persons to have access to justice, which they wouldn't ordinarily have, because they just simply can't afford, and there is no funding available for it. So the hope is that this would be the first step in a series of steps that would get us ultimately to the point where the bar can have, as an ongoing initiative, the, the provision of pro bono legal representation um, for indigent, first of all, members of the public.
In sports now, West Indies captain Jason Holder has praised Craig Brathwaite for showing the qualities the team has been asking for in the dressing room during his 142 of 318 balls, an innings in which he carried his bat and gave his team a 56-run lead in Sharjah. Holder went on to take three wickets early in Pakistan's second innings, and they were four down before they wiped out the deficit. Yes, definitely. I thought Craig Braff was outstanding. Um, he held his back and he played an excellent innings. You know, he showed great character, you know, great composure, great fight. You know, all the things we've been asking for in the dressing room. And me personally, I was very, very inspired by his not, you know, the, the character which he showed and, you know, just that fight. You know, we've all answered that belief and that fight. And I was, it was very inspirational for me. And, you know, that gave me the energy to go there and, you know, do what I did this evening. There's regional and international news after this short break. Get your paper, get your paper. Only 225, 220. Who? For where? Nice bear still news. I don't read about that from Barbados today since last night. That can only do. 220, who? The Barbados Today, news you can trust. Public bank just like Santa Claus. Maisie fix up the kitchen and a new TV we get in. A special time to commemorate. Republic will help you celebrate. Get ready to celebrate 50 years of independence right through to the best page in Christmas ever with a Make It Happen loan of up to $50,000 from Republic Bank. Give your home a good old beige and spooza. Buy some new furniture and appliances or take an after-holiday trip to visit loved ones over and away. You could also be one of our lucky winners to share in fabulous prizes. Just visit any branch to apply. Go to republicbarbados.com or call us at 227-2700. We're also available via Skype and FaceTime. Special conditions apply. Public Bank, we're the one for you. We're back with news from the region now. Guyana is reporting a near 20% drop in serious crime so far this year. Acting Commissioner of Police David Ramnarine, whose 100 days in that post ended yesterday, says, however, that gun-related crime remains a major challenge for the force. We continue to experience a 17% decrease in serious crimes for the comparative period, 1st January to 29th October 2016, for the same period in 2015. For the same period this year, we have 2,700 reports of serious crimes, 2,700. For the same period last year, we have 3,263 reports of serious crime. Murder. So far for 2016, we have 119 reports of murder against 149 for the entire period in 2015. And on the international scene, a model that has correctly predicted the winner of every U.S. presidential race since Ronald Reagan in 1980 is forecasting a big victory for Hillary Clinton. Clinton is expected to get 332 electoral votes, while Trump is predicted to get just 206. And that's according to Moody's analytics model, which is based on three economic and three political factors. It's not just the political polls pointing towards Hillary Clinton now. We also have the market polls. So you were just mentioning this interesting data we got to out today, exclusive to CNN, by E-Trade. And they, right. they asked active investors. So these are people with at least $10,000 in the market and that they're uh, investing in buying stocks. Who do you think will be the best candidate for the stock market and the economy? 60% saying Hillary Clinton, only 40% saying Trump. And also, that's double the number that we're saying Hillary back in April. So really good turnout for her. Right. So we've been looking at these market metrics, yeah. right? So the, so the stocks one... That's right. ...is, is, is now... It's, it's the only one that's still pointing to Donald Trump. But it's come off its backs. It has a little bit. So remember, this is the one that's t it's been spot-on predicting since 1944 who will win the presidency. Right. And it looks at the change between August 1st and October 31st. And it, because the stock market is lower now than where it was then, that's telling us uh, more towards Trump. That's news and sports, but for the very latest, visit our website at 
www.barbadistoday.bb. Also, subscribe to our e-paper email updates and like us on Facebook. We are also on Izumi Media in bus terminals, or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you, as well as Channel 99 on Flow TV and Mix 96.9 FM. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic evening.